Welcome back to Marketing Champions on Daily Ad Brief. I'm Howard Walpuff, your host. We're talking about marketing all around the country with great marketers. And today we're talking to Glendale, California. We're talking with Larissa Wurstiuk from Joy Joya LLC. And uh, Larissa, welcome to the conversation. Thanks, Howard. I'm excited to be here. Thanks for having me. Well, we're excited to have you and learn more about jewelry. So you help companies market jewelry around the country. And uh, why don't you tell us how you got started and uh, what specifics are you doing for your, your clients? Sure. So my name is Larissa. I'm the founder and creative director of Joy Joya LLC. We are a digital marketing agency that specializes in working with jewelry brands. So it's very niche, but I, I really like working specifically with jewelry brands because the market is very exciting to me. There's a lot of opportunity there. I think the jewelry industry is only growing. And now there's a lot of space for independent jewelry brands to start their own e-commerce storefronts to, you know, reach new markets, new customers. So I really assist my clients with strategy and all types of digital marketing services like social media marketing, email marketing, SEO, influencer marketing, you name it. And I really take a holistic approach to working with my clients. So I assess their individual needs and then come up with a plan and strategy to help them achieve their, their goals individually. So the clients you're working with or the ones that come to you, are they usually, uh, let's call it a, a company as opposed to someone who started making jewelry and wants to figure out the next step, how to sell it online? Or is it a combination of that? Yeah, it's a combination. I do work with some more established brands that already have marketing teams and maybe they just need some consulting or outside assistance or like a fresh pair of eyes to what they're already doing, especially in this evolving space. Everyone is looking for new and innovative ways to stand out. But I also do work with independent designers, some of whom are kind of taking their hobby to like a more serious business or maybe independently, they've been working at their business on their own for a few years, and they really want to get to that next level. So then they come to me for support. So what have been the most successful ways for these types of companies to get their marketing message out there digitally right now? Yeah, I see a lot of people not necessarily totally moving away from social media marketing, but there's so much frustration around social that these brands are really looking for alternatives to connect with their customers beyond Instagram and Facebook because those two channels are so saturated. So I'm really finding lately that email marketing has really been the hero for a lot of my clients. It's a great way to stay in touch with those more engaged, those more VIP followers and a better way to just get the message across more immediately rather than relying on those Instagram algorithms per se. And even in addition to email marketing too, I don't have as many clients experimenting with this yet, but the SMS, the text marketing, I think is really just another layer of that um, email marketing communication. There's something to be said about text marketing because it's more immediate. Um, you get a text message, you feel it immediately on your phone. You, with, with emails, there may be a bunch of emails that all come at the same time. So one may have come 20 minutes ago, one may have come one minute ago, and you're not getting that reaction. You may not be checking your email all the time, but if someone texts you, you're going to respond. And, and I sense that those companies that you've in, they've invested that, uh, that, that capital into text marketing are seeing the results from that. Oh, absolutely. And for some reason, I've noticed in the jewelry space, not as many brands are taking advantage of that text marketing yet. Fashion, absolutely. I've seen a lot of text marketing with fashion brands, but jewelry is a niche that hasn't really embraced it as strongly. So I think there's a lot of opportunity there as well. Well, it's good that they have your guidance to guide them through because I sense that if they were sitting there saying, okay, I want to do text marketing, they would have absolutely no idea where to start, who to connect with, and, and who to make the right investment with. So having someone like you to really has uh, become a master of this uh, industry and, and making sure that the, the, the right messages are getting across for these, these jewelry companies digitally 
is uh, is a great asset. And we thank you for sharing your knowledge with us and uh, for telling your story today. Thanks for having me, Howard. It's been really fun. I, I enjoyed it. Well, thank you. And thank you all for joining us today. This really is great because a lot of these smaller companies who have some, they've, they started out, especially during the pandemic, and created their own jewelry, and now they want to sell it, or someone who's been doing that for a while and wants to get to the next level, they may not know exactly what to do. Speaking to someone like Larissa really can help them get the ball rolling. You can learn more at dailyadbrief.com. But go out, have a great rest of today, and we will see you next time on Marketing Champions.